ஜே பிரகாஷ் காந்தி கரியர் கன்சல்டன் அனலிஸ்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு கரியர் கைடன் ஜே பி காந்தி யூடியூப் சேனல் ஜேஇ மெயின் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஜென்ஸ் ஆஃப் கம் வென் வி கம்பேர் தி டீடைல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் ரேங்க் வாசஸ் பர்சன்டைல் இட் டெஃபினெட்லி எக்ஸ்போசஸ் தி மிஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் நேஷனல் டெஸ்டிங் ஏஜென்சி many educationists like us are not really convinced about the way the system works in fact many students and parents are very upset with the way they got the marks in the percentile especially the students who wrote in the first four sessions are definitely got deprived and they have become very depressive also in fact the students who wrote in the first four sessions got very in spite of getting good marks they get very less percentile but the student who wrote in the last two or four sessions in spite of getting low scores they got a very high percentile it is no way acceptable you cannot say that it depends on the question paper or things it's also depends on the number of students but the question big question marks we ask to national testing agency why did in the very first session on 27th morning more than 3 lakh students wrote it almost can you believe it is 21.6% of the students who are who, who are registered have appeared in 27th morning session it is it is not acceptable but same thing if you look at the first february evening session only 3.5% of the students who registered got uh, got enabled to write the examination where is 21.6% of students and where is 3.5% how can you compare this the the distribution should be equal if the first session has 1.2 lakh students the even the last last session also should be 1.2 you cannot have few sessions more and few sessions very less and you cannot say it is an equivalent it is impossible in fact we are able to now we are the one of the very few people are going to expose in detail about what happened in the national testing agency uh, the percentile uh, the uh, revelations in fact we are we are there the career garden jp gandhi is going to give you a very detailed analysis in, in so to make sure that yes what has happened reality every student and parent who appeared je main should know the reality in fact we are going to say very detailed maybe you can even note it down nothing wrong about it in fact the student now we are going to go in the first to fourth session average last six session average i said first to fourth session average last to sixth session average suppose a student who got 99.7 percentile the the student who appeared in the any of the first four session must have scored at least average 256 marks average this is some other student who has appeared in the last six session the average would have been only 218 marks remember where is 218 where is 256 same way as the student who got 99.5 percentile if he would have returned in the first to four session he should have scored at least average 235.25 but if it returned in the last six semester in the last six sessions the average was only 194 99 percentile if you take the first four session average was 218.5 but last six session was only 175 remember a student who wrote in the in, in the last six session who got 175 marks is able to get 99 percentile but the student who got in the first to four sessions who got no, average 218.5 got 99 so huge difference same way if you take 98 percentile the first to four session average was 191.25 last six session average was 151 see the difference where is 151 where is 191.25 same way 97 percentile if the, the first to four session average was 177.5 last six session average was 137 if you take 96 percentile first to four session was 164.75 average last six session average was only 124 same way if you score 95 percentile the first to four session average was 155 marks 
but last six session was hardly 116 marks can you believe 116 so it is it is actually many students has got depressed the students who wrote on 27th and 29th in fact we'll see still more clear we'll take only one percentile 99 percentile 99 percentile a student was was written the je main on 27th jan morning session he should have scored at least 233 marks. If the students have written on 27th January evening, he should have scored at least 211 marks to get 99 percentile. If the student have written on 29th January morning session, he should have scored at least 203 marks. 29th January evening, he should have scored 212 marks. Now come 30th January morning, if they would have written a student who, got, who just got 193 would have got 99 percentile. 30th January, if the student had written the JE main, if it has scored 191 marks, he would have got 99 percentile. Now, 31st January morning, if the student have written, he should have scored at least 172 marks to get 99 percentile. 37, 31st, sorry, 31st January evening, even if a student who got 151 marks, he would have got 99 percentile. 1st February, this, this student should have got at least 161 marks to get 99 percentile. 1st February evening, 172 marks to get 99 percentile. Now take 31st January evening. 31st January evening, if a student has written and would have, have got only 151 marks, he would have got 99 percentile. If the student have written 27th January morning, he should have scored 233 marks. See the difference between 31st January evening to 27th January morning, 82 marks. Can you believe this never ever happened in the history of J.E. Main? It's never happened. So it, it is the big, big question mark we are asking. That's why we are asking, how can we distribute like this? If you want the distribution, we are ready to give you the distribution also. On 27th morning, 21.6 percentage of students wrote after the registered. On 27th evening, January, 15.5 percent of the students wrote. 29th morning, January, 13.5 percent of the students wrote. 29th evening January, 13.1 percentage of the students wrote. 30th January morning, 8.7 percentage of students wrote. And th 30th January evening, 7.9 percent of the students wrote. On 31st January morning, 7.4 percent of the students wrote. 31st January evening, only 4.7 percent wrote. Rem imagine, that's why I said, 31st January e evening, the students who got 151 marks got 99 percentile. 27, I mean, 20, uh, sorry, 31st January evening, the student who wrote got 151 percentile. But the student who wrote on 27th January morning should have got at least 233, 233 to get 99 percentile. See the difference. On 31st January evening, only 4.7 percentage of students wrote. But 27th morning, 21.6% wrote. How can you say it's both, uh, the, the percentile can be, uh, the, uh, there's no discrimination. Definitely there's a big discrimination. On 1st February morning, 4.2% of the students wrote. 1st February evening, only 3.5% of the students wrote. Imagine 1st February evening, only 3.5%. 27th morning, 21.6 percent. Imagine the fate of the students who wrote on 27th and 29th. Really sad. It's really depressed. Many students are very, very depressive. In fact, National Testing Agency should give some weightage or they should give another attempt for the students who wrote on 27th and 29th. In fact, the students who written on 27th and 29th got the less percentile. Never worry. Prepare very well. Never give up. Let's fight for the, uh, the, for the better scores in the coming session. In fact, never give up. Concentrate on your board exams. Make sure 
you be very strong again prepare for your next main examinations and remember don't worry about things because if not iit and it there are even there are many good institutions we are there to guide for you and very important another another big question we are asking to national testing agency why should we have so many sessions when neat examination with more than 17 to 18 lakh students are writing were able to conduct in one offline exam why don't we have je main also one offline main examination why should we have so much so many sessions and discuss so much so many differentiation it means there might be a scam also i doubt we need a complete transparency why did the national testing agency allotted more than 21.6 percent students on the very first morning session that's a very big question they need to really answer to all the students and parents why in first paper it was only 3.5 why all this we can have only one session it can be not necessary to do it during the january also even after the examination that was the the previous history uh, the history of uh, the the je exams are all been been conducted immediately after the plus 2 board exams so we can why not we follow next time when neet was able to do it why not je again another big thing was we are very depressed disappointed because we are connected with the students so much why national testing agency gave the results during the board exams uh, theory board exams very big question they have to answer why did they give the results this type of results has affected many students and their performance have been very disruptive when they write the board examination they could have withheld the results and could have told the reasons yes we have results are ready we will publish immediately after you write the main papers of your 12th standard board exams nothing wrong about it nobody is going to join immediately or no, nobody is going to apply for any universities why this all this is a big question mark all this the national testing agency has to really really be transparent and reply to the students and parents really i mean the very some questions which they have raised it another thing for the other students never worry about it if you scored 98 percentile plus definitely you are going to get into it, any of the top nits and if you scored between 95 to 97 definitely any nits you will get and if you scored between 90 to 95 definitely you can try your luck in csap round you may not getting and if you scored between 90 to 95 if you are not getting your desired college desired coast in, in, in nit or triple it don't worry you can definitely try nit in csap round csap round will be conducted after the six rounds of joswa so don't worry about it do apply have patience have faith on you prepare well for your the next thing another thing is that regarding the 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 courses don't do just behind computer science and all this do it in a good institution go for the circuit branches are the core branches learn about the computational skill the future is going to be the students with the core engineering knowledge with tremendous computational skill are going to win the race so in fact this still there is opportunity never give up career garden jp gandhi always stands with the students and parents we will support you for every good move of yours and we always expect a good ethic value system in the in, in the education process so wish you all the very best see you with more details in the coming videos thank you very much